Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the beautiful Brabazon Golf Course, the par 517th. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're talking all about the trail arm and I've got a really simple drill that you can do which is going to ho hopefully help you better understand how this should move through the backswing and into the downswing. Just before we get started, in the corner of the screen you should have the details for my social media accounts. So if you don't already, then please go ahead and follow me on those. So, certainly this is going to be applicable to you if you struggle with slice shots, fade shots, and you feel that the golf club gets a little bit too steep during the downswing. And certainly we would see a lot of golfers who do fall into this category. If you do fall into this category, it can often be because of how you're using your trail arm in the golf swing, and this drill is going to be fantastic for you to recognize how to make some better moves. What I would like you to do is take your starting position and take your lead hand or arm and place it behind your right bicep or your trail bicep and just put the fingers so they're sort of putting a little bit of pressure on the back so you can see how the palm of my hand is facing almost back towards the camera. And what we're going to try and get you to do is to make a golf swing with your right hand, trying to keep a little bit of pressure on this elbow. So as I do that, what this will allow me to do is it will allow me to get pretty much the top of my swing, but because I'm keeping a little bit of pressure on the back of my elbow, what it means is it means that my right arm or my trail arm is going to have to fold correctly. So the first little element to this drill is it's going to help those golfers who feel as if they maybe get this right elbow retracted too much in behind them too early, gets a little bit stuck out behind them, and that in turn can cause the lead arm to be a little bit low at the top. It can often cause the club shaft to be a little bit steep, and we often get a little bit too much distance between the elbows. So certainly the most sort of, one of the problems we see in the back swings is the right arm or the trail arm retracting too much behind you. This little exercise is going to help you rotate that trail arm and get it to fold much much better to the top. You can see how from here the elbow is in a much much better position and in turn the club shaft is in a better position as well. Now we can maintain this feeling all the way through the downswing. So my lead arm can sit just behind the bicep and it can help me move that arm better to the top but it can also help me move that arm down into delivery much much better. You can see, hopefully, from the down the line camera there, that my right elbow is in a nice position. We will very often see golfers from the top, as they start down, the club shaft steepens, and you'll notice that that trail elbow started to pop more out behind my back. That is the main reason why this golf club steepens, it's because my right arm is changing its rotation. It's working towards what we call as internal rotation, which causes the elbow to stick more out behind me. It is incredibly difficult to do that when this lead arm is stuck behind it. So as I start down, it's going to help me recognize that I can keep my arm rotated and use my rotation to find a delivery position. Many of you out there who steepen the club shaft will feel that pressure on that arm or that hand as that elbow is trying to pop out the back. And you can see just how that steepens the club shaft. From here, I have got a difficult job to get speed into the club, to get a consistent path to get a consistent club face. And for those golfers who do steepen the club shaft, they very often hit those balls which curve excessively off to the right. If you feel that's difficult with the golf club, nothing to stop you doing that, just with the right arm on its own. And again, getting those same feelings, right arm rotates, and I use my rotation to bring it down into the delivery area. Very, very simple drill, but if you are struggling with that trail arm, or maybe not even aware of how it should be moving, this is a fantastic way of getting some better feels and getting some better ideas. Right, let me go ahead and hit one. I've only got a mid iron here, so I'm probably not gonna reach the green because it's some 220 odd yards away. But let's go ahead and see if we can do some of those things. And I'd certainly be happy with that, nice and straight into the fairway and a little bit short of the green as I suspected. So trail arm, very, very often it is the cause for a club which is steepening in transition. And if it steepens in transition, we can often get path which is to the left of target, balls which curve to the right of target. And certainly with the longer clubs, we're gonna find that turns into a big slice. Using this trail arm drill is gonna hopefully help you understand how it should work. 
create some better feelings for you, you can take that to the golf course and hopefully hit some better golf shots. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked that video. If you did, click the like button. Any comments you've got, you can post those in the boxes down below. I will do my best to respond to as many as I can. And last thing, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. There's loads more videos already on there and there's more being loaded weekly. And it just means that you'll get access to those and you won't miss any. Thanks again for watching and hopefully we'll see you back here again soon.